Who remembers how awful action masters were? Well, at least I'm pretty sure they were terrible based off of the pictures and reviews I've seen of them. But what happens when you take an old design for a non-transforming character and then give it new life as a repaint of an existing f character or existing figure that's pretty decent already? The result actually is pretty, uh, pretty good. The robot mode for Jackpot here is pretty faithful to his original design, but with a nice update. Every inch of detail here is just amazing for what they did too. And for those who are unaware or new to collecting, this is a repaint of the Studio Series 86 Jazz, but with a brand new head, which kind of further cements in my mind that some of these 86 figures were intended for Earthrise or Kingdom, but had to get pushed back or put into a different line for one reason or another. Anyways, every bit of detail here is very accurate and faithful to the original design, except for the vehicle cable, because while Jackpot's original design never transformed, it did have vehicle detail throughout the entirety of the robot mode. The weapons included with Jackpot are his target master Sights and his gun, and a blast effect meant to pair with Sights for the axe mode. Sights is a character I'm unfamiliar with, then again I'm not familiar with any of the action master characters, but the only thing you can't do that the original toy did was combine Sights with the blaster to deform that sweet looking mega cannon, which is kinda one thing I wish that this figure did do. Articulation on Jackpot is pretty well on par with the rest of War for Cybertron in Studio Series 86, and again, I'm only making that comparison to the two since Jackpot is part of the War for Cybertron line, while also being a repaint of Jazz, who is from the Studio Series 86 line. Transformation here is pretty simple, but do be careful with the clear plastic. Nothing on mine has broken yet, but it's still a possibility due to how brittle clear plastic has been known to be. But outside of that, it's a very fun transformation to do and ends up with the pretty satisfying alternate mode. The alternate mode, like I said, it looks good, and since it's based off of Jazz, it resembles that of a Porsche 935 Turbo. Meanwhile, according to the wiki, it states the jackpot turned into a Ferrari Testarossa? Testarossa? Words are hard. Anyways, it doesn't look anything like that, like that car, mind you, but it still looks super good. And hey, maybe one day we'll get a jackpot that's not a repaint and a mold of its own. I mean, hell, if skids can pull it off, I'm pretty sure jackpot will one day have his time in the sun. As a whole though, this is one of the few jackpots that we've gotten in official capacity, and I don't think it disappoints at all. I have no actual affiliation or love of the character, but it's always enjoyable whenever we get figures of lesser known characters. It just makes me take a deep dive into the wiki lore of who the character is, and I give this guy a solid 8.5 out of 10, and a pretty good recommendation if you're into collecting lesser known characters of the franchise too. That's really all I have, so make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and if you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And if you're so inclined, please follow my social media pages down below in the description. And with that, I hope you guys all have a fantastic day, week, month, life, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!